Hello, this is Tom, VA3WBA, and in today's video, I would like to talk a little bit more about my mini magnetic loop antenna. Essentially, I would like to compare it to a dipole. As you can see, antenna is already hooked up to my SDR. I'm using SDR Connect as a software. And from the picture, you can tell that this antenna is very sharp. It has very high Q. It is weekend and I've tuned this antenna to the FT8 section of the 10 meter band. I'm expecting some activity there and I think it's going to be easier to compare levels of signals between the dipole and this little magnetic loop antenna. Uh, so what I have done is I set up my SDR Duo, which has two tuners. The way that the tuner A is connected to the loop antenna and the tuner B, the second tuner, is connected to my 10 meter dipole. Both antennas are in-house, so the dipole is installed in the attic and the loop antenna sits next to my desk and they are sort of oriented in the same direction. And as you can see from the video, uh, there is way more activity on the dipole compared to the loop antenna. So we can, but you know, it's, it is a full size dipole, correct? So it can be you know, as efficient as possible versus the antenna, like I said in the previous video, was really designed to be squeezed into a laptop bag and used with the radio outside. I also set up two copies of uh, W. SJT uh, to make this exercise uh, more interesting and the results more tangible. So one instance reports on the loop. So when you look at its configuration, what I'm doing is uh, I'm using the audio cable and I'm uh, taking the left channel. So L for, for a loop. And also I modified my call sign. So the call sign is VA3WBA slash L for loop. And I did the same thing for the dipole with the difference that I put my call sign slash D for dipole and for audio, I'm taking right channel. So both instances are running. And now we can jump to the map and see what is going on over there and how many results each of these antennas are produced on the map. Uh, now let's take a look at the waterfall activity produced by each antenna. So uh, here on the left, we have our loop. And there is a fair bit of signals that I can identify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight signals that I see <clears throat> versus dipole. I mean, the, the waterfall is loaded with signals. Now let's take a look at uh, the PSK reporter website and let's see how these signals uh, were reported. I've been running this for maybe five, 10 minutes so far. So I know that uh, depending how busy this website is, some of the results may be displayed with certain delay. So the call sign I enter is VA3WBA slash L for magnetic loop. And we can see that we have really five stations that we we managed to receive with the antenna and there is not much activity. So let's switch to the dipole and let's see how dipole did compared to the magnetic loop. So I'm seeing results and you can see I could pretty much talk to entire Southern Europe with ease and I even picked up some station from from Africa, it's a weak signal, but still um, visible. So I think I think there is a huge difference in performance of the full size dipole 
and very, very compromised uh, magnetic loop antenna. I think what I'm trying to say in this video is not that uh, the magnetic loop antennas are not good and you should not invest your time in them. What I'm trying to say is that it is very um, easy to build antenna that performs a little bit or worse than a dipole. And it's very difficult to build an antenna that performs better than a dipole. I think that my little magnetic loop is still an option. It's going to probably work great uh, with CW and um, digital modes. I'm going to still be able to make some contact, as you can see. There's, there are not that many, but if you're in a park and you don't have capabilities to stretch full-size dipole or some other uh, better performing antenna, it is still a good option. Uh, someone may laugh and say, hey, this is like you hooked up a resistor to your to your radio. Well, resistor or not, uh, I would be able to make some contact or maybe call for help using um, JS call or some other or some other mod or, or communication protocol. Cool. So as you could hear, I was able to receive some stations. Of course, I only had five watts and with this little antenna, I was not able to successfully contact anybody. But the exercise was interesting. Um, that was one of the strongest stations that we could hear that day. And But they, there were others. So I still think that antenna has a potential and I love its size. Uh, I can put it on a picnic table and it, all you need is a cable. You don't need a tuner or anything else. I would say QRP rig gonna work still good um, for FT8 and uh, CW. Thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, please do not hesitate to ask questions in the comment sections. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, also, uh, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate new subscribers since I'm starting this channel. If, I'm, if I see that people are interested, I'm going to be more motivated to produce uh, more interesting videos on topics that are interesting to my viewers and to myself. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.